In this video, we're going to add a map to our app, and then we're going to use a location provided by our web API to show a location on that map. You know, I've been making Thunkable apps for a few months now, and the maps component is honestly one of the coolest, and I think one of the, maybe not most underutilized, but maybe underappreciated components that Thunkable provides. I think this is super cool and adds a bit of professionality to your app. Now, if you need more information on the maps component that we're going to use in this video, I have a link to the documentation down in the description as well as the Brewbase API series cheat sheet. That's just a PDF that I created that kind of shows you um, everything behind the scenes if you need just like pictured, detailed. Um, the cheat sheet is where you wanna look. Links are in the description. All right, so the map we're going to add to the info screen here. Um, so here we have, we show the name, we show the website, we show the location. Well, in addition to like the text location like the city and the state let's go ahead and show it on the map i think we can do that um, so let's go ahead and grab the map component if we scroll down to location we see the little google app here and the map let's drag this in and um, see if we can get that where we want it i'm going to come over here to the thunkable tree and just kind of organize these a little bit i'm going to put this below the website and above the location label. And I'm going to set the height for this to 40%. So let's um, update the height to 40%. That way everything stays nice and spaced out. For the blocks, this is where we're actually going to grab the location um, from the API. Let me organize these a little bit, expand these out. I guess the way that I'm going to do this is let's go ahead and create a, another function. And let's call it define map, just so we can kind of section out our code a bit. Define map. And we're going to add this, or call this rather, after we populate the um, other info. So we call it populate info, which shows the name, the website, city, state. And then after that, let's go ahead and um, populate the uh, map. So we're going to do something similar to what we've done up here, where we just set a value based on what's returned in the object. But instead of setting a text value, we're actually going to set a value on the map. So let's come to the map bucket and scroll down to from map set latitude. This is the block that we want. And we will duplicate that and grab longitude as well. Because latitude and longitude always go together. And then we can just copy and paste what we have up here. So this is getting a value from our JSON object that is returned from the API. And I know that the field is called latitude. And then similarly, as you would expect, this other field is called long itude is how I know how to spell it, but it's pronounced longitude. So now that we have a location, let's actually display that location um, on the map. And actually, I think this will actually show the location, but um, what I'm talking about is I actually wanna show a marker on the map. So from map, let's add a marker. This will be a point on the map. And let's set the latitude to what we have up here, the longitude to what we have up here. We can do that. Um, so from map, get latitude. And then similarly, let's come over to map bucket and grab the longitude. And then it, it allows you to set a title and a description. So what I thought we could do for this is to show the name of the brewery for the title. And then for the description, let's go ahead and set this to the street. So this is like the address, like 123 Main Street. I think that is all we need. So only a, a few blocks to add after adding the map component. We have, we're calling it whenever the screen starts. So let's uh, take a look and see if this is working. All right, so we're going to start a search. Let's 
go ahead and go to Louisiana and we'll choose Cajun Brewing. Alrighty, would you look at that? <laughs> would you look at that? We have a map. <laughs> so cool. And this map, you know, we can actually like kind of zoom in on it. And then that's the marker that we added. So if I click on that, it shows the name of the brewery and the street. So now, uh, whenever we search for a brewery in our app, um, this is part of the series that we're working on, uh, we can pull in the latitude and the longitude, display those um, on a map with, within our app, and display it on the screen. That is super cool. I just I love how easy it is to incorporate these things. And this is just a basic video, so be sure to check out a few of the links in the description for more information. And if you have any questions or comments or wanna see more on, on maps or any other components, uh, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Well, hey friend, before you leave, I just wanted to say thank you for joining me in this video. And if you've been watching the entire Brewbase API series, thanks for joining me on this journey. If you have ideas for another series or want to give me some feedback on this series, feel free to leave me a comment down below and I would love to hear from you. I love you. I love your creativity and I love uh, that you want to learn how to code. I just, I, I love all of it. That's why I'm doing this YouTube channel. <laughs> Anyways, um, until next time, happy coding.